Hey, what's up everyone? It's David here, also known as Model Reviewer and also known as Hobby Collector. The video this time is a bit more unusual as it's not an unboxing video and it's not a review video. What this is, is a teaser video on the Barry J. Freeman collection. And because there's so many Barry J. Freeman train packs in the collection, there's five actually, but who's counting? Well, me. But anyway, it would be impossible to do an unboxing video of every single one and feature them all, all together. So what I'm doing instead is basically showing every single train pack in the collection within 10 minutes, hopefully 10, maybe I might go up to 12, who knows, I don't know how these things run. But anyway, every single train pack in the collection showing you the box and just a quick talk on what it features and what, what it includes, which basically what it features, so basically what I just said, but the locomotive and the coaches mainly. So let's get to it. So in the collection, there's Days of Red and Gold, there's Rare Bird, there's Fireworks at Shell Compton, there's a Duchess at Carlisle, and there's a date with the Duchy. So first off, let's start with the Days of Red and Gold. Now these were originally released in 2010, and this is obviously one of the first ones that came out, and that's the Days of Red and Gold, and... This includes LMS coaches with a coronation class, sorry, princess, LMS princess coronation class, city of Chester, the locomotive that's in. So you get two third class uh, corridor coaches and you get a third class corridor brake coach. And you get a numbered certificate because it's a limited edition of 1000. And you get a printed painting of the actual train that's featured in this train pack. But notice that it's pulling a lot more coaches. They never did additional coaches, but you could buy them in the standard range and put them in to form of a full length train. So, yeah, and that's Barry J. Freeman himself. They put an image there with some of his prints. He never signed them, <laughs> the actual prints, so physically anyway. But um, yeah, For some reason he's got a pencil there, don't know why. So on the back, they featured showing you all of the trains in the collection of that year because there were three of them. And obviously a, a better picture of the print that you get. And obviously they're showing you what the certificate looks like. And it's got 19 volts, which makes not a lot of sense to me because I'm pretty sure it was between 15 and 12, 12 and 15 volts, but it says here 19 volts. Funny enough, that's unusual. But okay, more voltage. It's DCC ready. So that means you can put a chip in it. And yep. More or less good to go so the unboxing of this video sorry the unboxing video for this model will be coming later on so there'll be five videos in total just there and now we're getting on to the elusive rare bird and i say it's elusive because they were meant to come out in 2010 but this one was a year late 2011 actually and this was the only one I actually originally wanted. But funny enough, the guy that who was running the shop in the department store, somehow, I don't know how he managed to do it to this day, but he managed to get me to buy every single one in the end. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how he did it. But this, is, this features the Class A4 Kingfisher Loco in its 60024 running number so these were the numbers that was signed for it was assigned when it was running in br and so it, it swapped from 44 to 60 on all of the a4s and they all because there was there was 36 locos in total 
and obviously they 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 were later uh, rebuilt into W ones and all sorts of things. So not all of them actually uh, made it to um, BR BR um, time. So yeah, so you get uh, three X Teak LNE LNER coaches. You get a print from Barry J Freeman again, just like Days of Red and Gold. It's DCC ready, but all the A4s are DCC ready anyway. So, yep, and you get the detail pack as well. And on the back, you'll notice you can see a lot much more larger picture of the A4 picture print. And it's got some information here on the back. And again, it's 19 volts which is really quite shocking really because all the other individual a4s and other trains all only required 15 to 12 volts so these seem to be able to take a little bit more juice don't really know how or why but anyway so fireworks at chaconton and these feature again but um they're lms coaches but they're not lms coaches because they're in the nationalization of the railways so they became ex lms coaches and this features the <clears throat> the br doncaster loco that's the west country class and you get two br x lms free, uh, third third class coaches and one brake coach and numbered certificate again 1000 made how many of them are still around i don't know it is a decade ago now and this is the barry j freeman collection of course on the back and it's got the information on the back here as well and you've got this it shows you the certificate so basically every time they do a pack one of these moves down so the a4 is actually in the middle on all the packs but uh these two swap between <laughs> and yeah obviously the a4 is at the top on its own actual rare bird pack so again 19 volts but this is it's been stuck on so is someone trying to make me blow up my trains who knows but anyway uh, let's go on to the later ones now these yeah this is a date with uh sorry a um <laughs> a duchess at Chalcompton, and it's the barry j freeman collection again this features again x lms coaches and it's not sorry not x lms coaches these are actually <laughs> lms coaches sorry my bad I don't know how I managed to mess that one up, but okay. And obviously, so basically all of these packs, apart from two of them, all come with LMS coaches or XLMS coaches. And so this is the uh, Duchess of Sunderland. Uh, this is a princess class. And again, as I said, this, fe this features a first class coach, LMS, a third class, first, third class, uh, third class coach and a third class brake coach and science certificate by barry j freeman again it's got some information on the back i do apologize i have messed up quite a bit in these in this video but i i like to film on a, a one take thing where there's no editing involved if i well if i can try to but uh, i might have to go back to editing <laughs> let's move on and the next one which is actually i say the next one it is the last one this is a date with the duchy this features the castle class in the br mark one coaches and they've got the name plates on the side saying the royal duchy and this is actually the first time hornby featured the new castle class tooling in a train pack so this was one of those um first 
kind of deals kind of thing. <laughs> All the other trains, they're not the first time that they've done them in the train packs. They've done them before. So, yeah. So I'll turn it over. And, yep, you've got some information again on the train. Uh, date with the date of the period of the strike in Barry J. Freeman picture included with the train pack in 1957. And you can read that, you can read that, but um, I'll, I'll obviously I'll cover this in the next video on the each individual uh, train itself. And this one hasn't got 19 volts on it. It's got just 12 volts. So for some reason the voltage has gone down on these ones, on this one. <laughs> so these were quite expensive at the time. So it's actually still are now. So as I said, um, there be another, there'd be five videos featuring these train packs, much more detail, and I'll improve upon what I just actually said. So hopefully I'd make no mistakes or less mistakes than I made right now. But um, if you could uh, let me know uh, what your favourite uh, pack in the series is, and um, <clears throat> if you could uh, click the like and subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate that. Uh, bye for now.